Hey everybody, Wayne here. In today's recon, we're going to unbox Midway Solitaire Deluxe Edition, designed by Joseph Miranda, published by Decision Games. This is one that I've been waiting for for quite a while. Um, so it was originally published in a World at War issue, um, the magazine. I, I'm not sure which one, I'll dig it up, probably have the picture pop up for you guys, but I didn't get a chance to pick it up then. Um, it's one of those ones that sold out pretty quick and then was only available kind of on the aftermarket for <laughs> extra high prices, let's just call it that. Um, and I don't usually do that for war games. I mean, if I get it, awesome. If not, I'm not going to spend tons of money on it. So when I saw they're doing uh, reprinting it, but also as a deluxe edition with a mounted map, I was down for it for sure. So love the cover there. Nice, thick, heavy box here. Well, only, would it be a two-inch box? So not super thick, but nice, heavy box. Obviously, like I said, it has the uh, mounted map in there. Take a look at it here. Looks good. Maps, counters, artwork on there. I love it. Midway Solitaire follows the campaign in the Pacific Theater of Operations from April to June of 1942. So, just FYI, it's not, you know, this game does not just simulate the Battle of Midway, right? It is not just Midway Solitaire. But, you know, it's not as catchy to say, like, early, early to mid-1942 uh, on the defensive against the Japanese. You know what I mean? Like, not as catchy of a title. So, makes sense that they would uh, call it Midway Solitaire. But, basically, in the game, I know, and, and we'll have the map out and stuff, of course, we'll take a look at that, but... Um, you know, the Japanese are on the offensive, you know, you can see the basically kind of three different routes, four different routes that they're taking. Um, we can see here where they're coming from, um, different tracks, and you're kind of defending on those tracks. Now, I wouldn't call it States of Siege or anything like that. I don't, I don't think it's really any similarities to those games. Uh, I know it's very procedural. And sorry for the glare, we'll get her open here and get the plastic off. But um, anyway, so, you know, during this time frame it was Battle of Coral Sea, Battle of Midway. Um, both decided by aircraft carrier actions. You command the United States Navy and Allied Forces while the game system controls the Imperial Japanese Navy. So, you have to, uh, you know, try to stop them. Take a look at the uh, info here. Complexity is medium-high, full solitaire, obviously. So, you know, it's going to be a little bit more of a complex game. Um, if I'm a box cutter, sorry, I'm, I'm ill-prepared for this. Who knew? So, I have, been, I have been excited for this one, though. So, like, I've been, I've had it on my shelf for a while. Um, you guys know, uh, if you don't know, I was taking a little break from videos recently. Um, but so I was sitting there, but I was like, oh man, I want to get it filmed so I can actually play it. So let's, uh, let's take a look. I can't wait. I'm excited. So open her up here. Midway Solitaire. Ooh, beautiful. Love it. Nice thick, actually really thick box like that. Single D6, special individually bagged. It's a very rare D6 there. A couple extra baggies for counters, I would imagine. Fantastic. Have our rule book. And then I knew, yeah, I knew it was a little bit more than one counter sheet, so rule book. We won't look at the counter sheets yet. We'll do the rule book first. Then we'll do the counter sheets and the map. What's this? Oh, play read card. Okay. And then the mounted board. Ah! I can get it out of here. And it is in a big Ziploc bag, which I love. Um, just to make sure it's well protected and all that good stuff. So, all right. Let's look at the Play Raid Chart and Rule Book first. So, okay. Special Operations Market Procedures. U.S. Navy Actions. So, your, your actions you can take. Double-sided here. Two intelligence acts, operations, actions. Okay, so basically, look, probably part of the sequence of play pulled from the rule book. It's in color, cardstock, decent thickness. Rule book here. And I know the rule book, it is, you know, 32 pages, but I wish I would mention that. I'm like, well, that's a lot of pages. But if you look, which I love at this, by the way, um, the actual rule book, well, it's include example of play, it was up to 19 pages from t page 20 to the end, so 12 pages or so, is, you know, history, setting up the game, setting, you know, filling in on some details, maps, describing the task forces, just lots of good historical information, likely included with the magazine, but uh, still fantastic thing with these games. I do like when they do that. Central rules themselves are only going to be, you know, 19 pages. Again, this is also a sequence of play here, the last couple pages, so... 
scenarios, stuff like that, optional rules. So the actual rules themselves are only about 15 pages long. So I wonder if the medium high di uh, difficulty um, was as accurate. I guess we'll find out, right? So anyway, um, take a look at it. We're not gonna look at everything, but it is a full color rule book, which is all very nice. You know, you have three columns here. You have, you can see different um, pictures of, you know, counters, the icons, scribing them to you. Quick little examples, important notes. Looks good. Looks good for me right now, anyway. I mean, I haven't played it yet, so I'll let you know how the rule book, you know, teaches the game and how it plays. But looks good so far. So I like that with the deluxe edition. You know, they're doing color. They're doing, you know, those things. It seems like they're really stepping up. Decision games really stepping up on the, that stuff. So, all right. Let's look at these counters. So they are, you know... It, reasonable thickness here you can feel um they're gonna be what are they five eighth inch counters let's see does it say here 224 die counters doesn't say five eighths maybe so definitely bigger than half inch so take a look at them ships pretty simple silhouettes love the planes full color artwork of the planes Definitely love that. Nice, easy punch. So come right out of there, no problem whatsoever. You can see them. They actually are pretty thick. You know, the first one I was feeling, I was like, I don't know if they're thick. They actually are pretty thick. So I don't know if when I was holding the whole counter sheet, I just wasn't really thinking of it that way. But decent thickness, obviously. Double-sided, you know, some of them you're going to see unrevealed, I believe. Spotted, unspotted maybe is what it is, I think it's called. Maybe not. Um, again, I read the rule book once. I have not played it. That's a downside. Okay, here, I hear spotted up here. He's spotted. Um, I wish I had had the magazine version so I could compare directly because I know there's a lot of people who are like, oh, you know, I have a magazine version worth upgrading. I know that. I won't, unfortunately, I won't be able to answer per se just because I won't be able to compare the two. And a second counter sheet with just, I don't know if this is optional stuff or just additional counters that are needed. Double sided again. I think they look pretty good though. Yeah, definitely. It's definitely decent thickness. But first was like, I don't know. I, I think I was wrong on that. So let's go ahead and open up the map. I should run through this pretty quick. I was worried that it would be because of the deluxe edition and whatnot. Maybe it'd be like a really long video, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be. We'll come right around in on the uh, 10 minute mark, which you, you guys know is what I like with my uh, unboxing videos. Those you have seen them before, so plastic wasn't too difficult Ooh, definitely a nice oh i forgot that my table is broke kidding um okay yep six whoa geez you guys sometimes i set it up ahead of time but with this i figured you know what i want to bust it out since it's a nice oh, eight panel big old eight panel so it is it is a wrapped you can see mounted right so that nice um like wrapped on the edges right it's not just a thick cardstock it's actually wrapped mounted whoa definitely not gonna fit on the video on the screen right now all right let's uh let me see here let me actually pause it so i can get the whole thing on video set it up again all right i backed up the camera way up <laughs> to get the whole board on oh man um that's gonna be tough playing this one on, on camera but yeah we'll figure it out so uh, should be full size, uh, 24, 34, 22, 34. What is it? Um, 22 by 34. Yep, map. Um, you can see it here. You can see, like I said, the sort of the lines, you know, lines of attack here. Um, looks simple enough. I don't. Uh... Okay, here we go. Yep. So here, here. Yep. Um, we have holding boxes on edges. Looks good. Map looks good. You know, it, it is the kind of the open expanse of the Pacific Ocean. So not super sexy not super exciting although there is like a cool little like water texture it's not just like plain blue so i like that um map graphics joe used figured it would be him he does you know feel like the vast majority of joseph miranda's game so good job uh uh on this one joe Get some tables and charts on here terrain key battle display and when you're conducting battles i think you just go ahead and move your units down here to finish it it's a little, I backfolded it a little bit. It's still a little popping up. You know, it's not laying 100% flat. 
it's just out of the box, guys. I don't, I don't, there's very rare that that happens. So I'll go ahead and I'll put some books, some game boxes on top, flatten her out. I imagine a couple hours, something like that, it'll probably be laying pretty flat. Or you can do the old standby, you know, backfold it gently and don't go too hard or you're going to probably snap it. So, all right, Midway Solitaire. Um, I heard buzz on the old internet, board game geek and whatnot, is that it's a little complicated, a little bit of a hard one, but, uh, you know what? We're not going to shy away from that. It has Solitaire literally in the name. Battle of Midway. You can't go wrong. Pacific Theater. World War II. Yeah, I'm looking forward to this one. Digging into this one. So we will have more videos on this one for sure. No promises on what exactly. But uh, we're definitely going to be diving into this one on camera. So let me guys think. If you've played it already, played the magazine one, and you played this one, or either or... Let me know below. I'm curious to hear people's thoughts um, before and as I dive into it. So until next time, guys, later.